Hello everyone, welcome to Anu's classroom. In this video, we will be talking about human resource accounting as part of learning about accounting for managers. This is MMPC 5 of MBA from IPNO. So let's get started. By the end of this video, I hope that you will have an impression about why human resource accounting is used. What is human resource accounting short formed as HRA? What HRA is as a management decision tool? And what are the HRA measurement models? So, the big question, why human resource accounting? Well, from the beginning of 20th century, there were continuous efforts to develop evaluation strategies for human resource investments by the firm. In other words, there is an increased demand for the actual accountability regarding the value creation by the human resource function, that is the HR department. The management is interested to see a link between the HR programs and the company's bottom line, that is profit. Managers in general believe that investing in people and providing appropriate HR invention, interventions, initiatives and solutions can result in a high and sustainable bottom line, that is profits, over a medium horizon. But the problem is that there is no direct link between this profit and HR function. Therefore, to find that link, we came with a branch of accounting called as human resource accounting. As we all know, human resource is the most valuable resource for any organization with almost all the resources and everything remaining same throughout. The differentiating factor between the success and failure of a firm most often lies in their human resource productivity and efficiency. The brains behind your organization is that of a human. The decisions will be taken by humans. The actual work, which is the creative work, will be done by humans. And therefore, it is very crucial to understand whether or not the people that you have working for you are actually, what you can say, able enough to bring in that profit. And the salary you give to the profits you get out of them, it should tally, right? So that is the whole purpose of introducing this whole new branch of accounting called human resource accounting it is a relatively new concept when you talk when you take all the different uh, branches of human resource accounting which we had discussed at the early days when we talk we're talking about uh, accounting for managers so in order to evaluate this contribution of human resource function in an enterprise's performance the human resource function has to be measured and evaluated but uh, choosing the suitable parameters and approach for evaluating this is a significant challenge. Some of the techniques or approaches which could be termed as a precursor for the modern day human resource accounting techniques could be the human resource management by objectives, employee attitude survey, HR effectiveness index, HR reputation, HR auditing, HR cost monitoring, HR performance index, employee relation index and so on. So how do we use this HRA or human resource accounting as a management decision tool? It can be used to make investment decisions. The presence of HRA information in the financial statements may change the way in which investment decisions are undertaken by managers and creditors, including banks and financial institutions. If your HRA is not strong, then your company internal atmosphere is not strong enough. Human resource planning. HRA figures or information can assist managers in developing a cost matrix for measuring the cost of requirement, which recruitment, which guides managers in choosing the best alternative selection process. Simultaneously, HRA plays a role in internal personal management also. Employer turnover management, layoffs and design of performance evaluation measures can also be undertaken with the help of human resource accounting. Performance management systems can be uh, created with the help of HRA. So HRA can be used as an alternative accounting system to measure the cost and value of the employers for management decisions like training and development. So coming to training and development also, in order to estimate the value that expected value of the expected payoffs, human resource accounting is an essential tool through which cost can be measured for alternative training programs and in choosing the best alternative training program. Compensation management system also HRA finds use. Information from HRA can be used by the salary administrators through which they can design the salary structure in a fair, objective and transparent way. HRA information allows rewards to be administered based on a person's value and utility to the organization. HRA information can be used for wage revision and salary reviews. 
Now, HRA measurement models. We can measure human resource accounting methods based on the cost, that is, based on the replacement cost, opportunity cost, or standard cost. Based on the value, we have Lev and Shivart's present value of future earnings model. Pardon me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Flamhole's sto uh, stochastic rewards valuation model. Present value of net benefits obtained, which is the Morse model. Then we have Hermanson model. Hermanson's unpurchased goodwill method also. So that was uh, about human resource accounting. If you found this video helpful, do let me know by a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If there is anything that you need more explanation on, let me know that. And I will try to create a separate video if I cannot uh, clarify it through a comment. So thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.